Scotland, a land of towering mountains and glittering lochs, of ancient forests home to magnificent creatures. This land tells the story of its people. It's a place where every corner of the landscape is shaped by the past. A past that has propelled Scotland towards becoming a nature-depleted nation. Many species that were once abundant in these lands now teeter on the edge. Whilst others were hunted to extinction. Yet, our relationship with this land is changing. A new nature-positive course has been charted and there is a groundswell of ambition to restore the abundance and diversity of life to Scotland's land and seas. Achieving these aims will require working together. Ambitious national strategies should be informed by the best science available. And local communities must be empowered to ensure stewardship for future generations. In one corner of Scotland, this journey is already underway. Here, a community-led restoration programme is working to restore both native oysters and seagrass meadows to their local loch. As both of these habitats have significantly declined in the UK due to human impacts, Seawalding has conducted extensive surveys around the loch searching for the best location to position their native oyster nursery. Specially designed cages provide the perfect environment for the juveniles to grow. And over time, they develop into entire ecosystems full of life. Here, they can be expected to grow 10 times in size in a period of just four to five months. The oysters are health checked often monitoring both size and weight. So far, Seawilding and the community have put 300,000 on the seabed and they have another 700,000 to follow over the next few years. This summer, Seawilding have added seagrass restoration to their successful oyster project. Seagrasses are marine plants that live in sheltered areas along our coastline. They play a vital role in our seas by helping to maintain a healthy marine environment. These underwater plants absorb carbon from the atmosphere and provide a home for a wealth of marine species. Scientists are working closely with sea wilding, using the latest technology to monitor the condition and area of the seagrass. The community has been out swimming in the meadows collecting seagrass seeds. They have collected over 200,000 in total, which are being processed in the Loch Shore using purpose-built, simple facilities. Community members of every generation are involved in the project, helping to separate the seeds from their pods. Once collected, they are placed into biodegradable bags ready for planting. Around 50 seeds are carefully placed into every bag, mixed together with the sand from the loch. Snorkelers are then sent out to plant the bags next to the remaining seagrass meadows, in the hope that this will help expand the meadows and protect these underwater gardens for the future. Solutions based in nature, both large and small, will help to mitigate the effects of climate change and reverse biodiversity loss. There has never been a more urgent need to restore our damaged ecosystems than now. Ecosystems support all life on Earth. The healthier our ecosystems are, the healthier the planet and its people. The UN Decade on Ecosystem Restoration aims to prevent, halt 
and reverse the degradation of ecosystems on every continent and in every ocean. But it will only succeed if everyone plays a part. We must unite to secure a sustainable future for our planet. Join the global movement to restore our world.